Welcome to our last episode in our three-part series, Creatures of the Night, featuring 10 new animals, nocturnal animals, and their sounds. Let's take a look. Remember, nocturnal means they are active at night. Do you hear that howling? We know what that is. That's a coyote. Coyotes travel in packs and go hunting together at night. Let's look around some more. Up in the trees. I hear an owl. Everyone knows an owl for their hoot, but can you hear how they screech a bit too? They hunt at night as well, looking for small forest animals like mice, lizards, and snakes. What else do we see? Over there! An aardvark. Aardvarks have a long snout so they can go into burrows like ant hills to catch their dinner. Now we see, oh, over there, a raccoon. Raccoons are omnivores. That means they eat just about anything, even someone's garbage. A badger. A badger is an omnivore also. We won't find him in our garbage, though, and don't approach him. They could be nasty. But not like these cute hamsters. Look at that mommy hamster and her baby hamster. People can keep them as pets for sure. The king of the jungle, a lion. Even though he's king, he lets all the mama lions go out and catch his dinner for him while he rests. A tarsier. Well, that is a strange looking creature. Unfortunately, they are on the endangered species list because people have tried to keep them as pets. Remember, not all creatures of the day or night can be our pets just because they're cute. What else do we see along the path? Oh no, another spider, I think. But this one is actually called a tarantula. Where is it? It's much bigger than regular spiders, and that makes a lot of people afraid of them. But they're actually quite gentle. What's flying by? It's a moth. What's funny is moths are active at night, but are always attracted to the light. Go figure. Thank you so much for watching our series, Creatures of the Night. Make sure to subscribe, watch, and like us, and share all three videos with your friends.